Alright guys, it's time to jump back into pointers, and specifically in this tutorial, I'm going to be covering pointers and how we can use math with pointers. And even more specifically, I'm going to show you guys, you know, how to add integers to pointers and why the result isn't exactly what you might expect. So let's go ahead and start off by building a basic integer array. I'll call mine Bucky, and it can hold five integers. Now we already know that each integer on my computer takes up four bytes of memory. On the older computers, they usually either take up two bytes or four bytes. On some of the newer computers, they might take up eight bytes. So, you know, if you're running this tutorial with me and it's not the exact same results, don't freak out. It's just how your computer stores integers. So let's go ahead and make a couple pointers. I'm going to make a pointer named BP, BP0, and this is going to be equal to the address of Bucky zero in other words it's going to be equal to the address of the first element so let's go ahead and print this out right now and see what the address is so um just give it a nice little prompt like bp0 is at memory address and let's print out bp0 that'll print out the memory address and of course let's end that line so now let's go ahead and build and run this and we see that bp0 is at the memory address ff08 okay simple enough so since we built an array and since we know that each integer takes up four bytes, we're expecting the next uh, pointer. Well, let's go ahead and build a couple more pointers first. And we're expecting the next pointer to be a memory address four away from that. So if that one was at eight, the next one will be at 12, and the next one will be at 16. So let's go ahead and one, this will point to the second element, and this will point to the third element. So now let's go ahead and print all these out on the screen and when I do we can clearly see what's going on one and two and two so basically we're printing out the memory address of this and then the memory address of this and then the memory address of this so let's go ahead and print this out and check it out BP0 is at location FF00 and since we're storing integers and they take up four bytes the next one is four bytes away FF04 the next one is four bytes away, FF08. And if we were to go on, I'm not gonna, but we can clearly see that each integer takes up four bytes of memory on our computer. And since we're building an array, all these integers are stored one right after each other. So that's why each element in our array is stored four bytes after the next one. Basically, whenever you make an integer on your computer, it reserves four bytes of memory for it, and you know nothing else can go inside that memory except that integer. So let's go ahead and say we were playing around and we decided to do something stupid like BP0 and we decided to add 2 to uh, you know this memory address. So let's go ahead and put plus equals 2. Well now let's go ahead and print out the address of BP0 again and see what happens. Remember before it was stored at um, the address FF00. So now when we add it 2 to it we should probably be expecting this to be a FF02 but let's go ahead and run this and see what happens okay like before the first element was stored at FF00 then FF04 for the next one then FF08 for the next one but what we did is we took this first one FF00 and we added 2 to it so we should be expecting FF02 right makes sense that's how it works in our brain but our computer said BP0 is now it FF08. Well, that was the address of this one right here. So, what is going on? What happens is because pointers don't work like math works in our head. Whenever you add integers to a pointer, it doesn't change the memory address of that pointer, it only changes what element it's pointing to. So, for example, whenever we run this and we try to add 2 to this pointer right here, it didn't change the memory address right here. What it did is said, all right, I'm gonna take your pointer and add two to it, and basically I'm gonna point to whatever is two elements away. So again, what I wanna stress is, whenever you're working with math and pointers, you're not changing the memory address, you're only changing the element that it points to. So again, you're not changing this piece of memory right here, you're changing what element it's pointing to. Simple enough. Like, I have a really hard time explaining that, but you guys can see what's going on. So, for example, if I put BP0++, 
it wouldn't change it to FF01. It would change it to FF04 because, well, let me go ahead and prove it to you guys first. So we added 1 to this. It didn't change the memory to 01. It changed it to 04 because 01, it would overlap this one, which would overlap this one and cause a whole bunch of problems. So what it does is in change of, instead of changing the memory address it just says alright if you're adding one to this pointer then you probably want to just point to this pointer right now so that is basically how pointer of arithmetic works it basically instead of changing the memory address it just changes where it points again you guys can clearly see in this example what's going on so you know just look at it and you guys can probably understand it a whole lot easier than me trying to explain it so there you have it that's how pointers work with math and why you might be getting a different result than you might expect so thank you guys for watching don't forget to subscribe in the next tutorial no idea what I'm gonna be covering but uh, I'm probably going to McDonald's so you guys chill out wait a couple seconds and uh, I guess I'll see you guys in the next tutorial